didn't see you there. Well, lucky for you today, it's another day in the life of a software engineer. So let's get going. We're off to Washington Square Park right now, doing three videos a week on YouTube. I kind of need to talk to more people who are doing that. And this guy that I'm meeting up with, he works with like big time YouTubers in New York. So I thought, hey, why don't we grab like coffee or a beer or something? And yeah, we're just gonna talk YouTube and posting and strategy. So it should be a bit of fun. He's cool. He works with a lot of like big YouTubers and a lot on the like short form space. I'm gonna go to an event tomorrow morning in Tribeca with lots of other creators, so very exciting. For a few of you who have been following along on the channel, I've been working on this food sharing app. Essentially, you go to a restaurant, you leave a review, but a little bit different than kind of your traditional food review apps out there. Today, what I wanna do is add some extra features so the app is not just simply like an MVP state. It's actually something that's got a few extra features that I can be like a little bit proud of. I think the first step is to figure out and organize the potential features that I wanna work on into like the top ranking ones inside my Notion board. From there, maybe I'll just figure out kind of like the scope of what I could get done today. I've also just opened up the front end and back end repositories on my GitHub publicly. So you can actually go and just like check out the code if you want to. Must be about like 30 to 50,000 lines of code or something. Not that lines of code should actually relate to anything. It's amazing like how much code goes into such a basic app. I think that's the plan today. I'm gonna jump in Notion. I'm gonna build some tickets and then, yeah, we'll go from there. think about it I think that I absolutely need like almost like a social liking feature or like a plus whining feature where if you've also been to that restaurant and you've eaten that food and you also think it's great you don't want the only option for you to be to like save that place for later you want to more be like yeah I've been there too this is definitely a great pick as you can see currently there's only really share and save. Maybe what I'll do is I'll add an extra model to my Prisma models uh, called like likes or plus ones or some sort of basic name. Yeah, it'll be exact same functionality as the saves. Yeah, I'll just implement a front end button, the clap emoji or like a plus one emoji and then that should solve that use case. literally about to happen. <laughs> oh yes! 25k! We did it! All right, man, 25k. That's a quarter of a hundred thousand. Did we wake you up? I'm sorry, what do you have to say? <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah, thanks for supporting the channel. 100k this year, surely. Damn, that's sick. 25k, woo!
How you feeling? Good, got my coffee. Yeah, what a day. Check this out. Woo! And you can see we got eight files changed. Okay, so if we just get rid of this for a second. Cool. So the first thing we've done is in our Prisma schema, we've created a new model. So as you can see, we've got the, the new like model here, which is just essentially attaching itself with a user, a find, and created at, updated at, deleted at, just your kind of like standard timestamps. Then we've got a new module that's been created, the likes module. So that's being imported so that it's exportable and touchable from anywhere else in the app. Then we've got a new DTO called an active like DTO. We've also got a user like DTO. Once again, just like modeling off what already exists on the saves controller. Then we've got our new likes controller, which is just our post endpoints. So we've got our auth on there so obviously you're going to need to use your bearer token still to do any of this because it requires a user so we've got our get user likes we've got get the find user likes we've got updating likes and then we've got a new likes module we've got the new likes service which is what the controller talks to so this is actually all the business logic and you can see we've actually got some prisma queries going on here so like get user likes await this prisma like find many where the user ID equals the user ID and it is not deleted. We're gonna order them, we're going to include the find details and then we're gonna return a user like DTO and you can see that's all mapped out beautifully right there. So yeah, that's where I'm up to. Now it's time to jump into the iOS app. Let's do it, let's merge that in first. All right, we've got our first build failure. Check this out. It's just trying to build the back end after merging that stuff and <laughs> Nest can't resolve dependencies of the likes service. Now I've seen this before. I think I know the exact thing that's gonna fix this. And it's to do with the way that in Nest.js, whenever you create like a new module and you're referencing something like the Prisma service, which is like the database essentially, you have to specifically say that yes, I want to import the Prisma service module into this new likes module. This is what I think is gonna solve it. So in this like service, you can see that we've got this constructor that creates Prisma from the Prisma service. Now because the likes module doesn't, have, yeah, see, there you go. It doesn't have it imported. So what we should do here is Prisma service, we'll save that. And then I wonder if we need it anywhere else. That might be all we need. Cool, I've just merged that pull request in, which was just that one line of code. Let's see if the build passes now. New York, man. Boom, we built. Okay, back end is up. You can see that, look at that. Nice. All right, that now means that we can generate our types on the front end. So that's up next. I've let Maddie come in and use the office a little bit because she's been sitting on the couch for ages. So, But I think next steps now would be naturally because I've got the likes functionality working, probably wanna start looking at notifications. If I wasn't to work on notifications, maybe the next thing that I would do is a way to actually see all of your likes. And if I wasn't to work on that, I really just need to go out of my way to actually start practicing using the app. And I think that's where I'm gonna find like the most niche actual use case issues that need to be solved for the app. It's almost 12 o'clock. I'm gonna go meet Mahalo out for a coffee and we're gonna have some fun talking about just like exciting business stuff in New York City. Yeah, I think that's another day in the life. It's uh, It's been a good one, pretty productive one. And I hope you enjoyed actually seeing a little bit more detail in the code base. If you did enjoy that, let me know. And otherwise, if you didn't, let me know what you wanna see instead. But if you do wanna see the code that I've been working on, feel free to just like head over to my GitHub. It's all open, you can check it out right now. And otherwise, yeah, I'm gonna drink some more coffee.